Hello folks, so how do we add sounds and music to this game? Well, Pygame's got built-in functionality for being able to control music in it. So to get right into that, all you need to do is import an additional module from Pygame. So above here where I've got my imports, just below my locals import, I'm going to add in an extra one, and it's going to say from Pygame, import mixer. So mixer is what allows me to actually add in and control the sounds within the game. So underneath that, I need to make sure that I initialize this mixer. So just above where I've got my Pi game in it, I need to say mixer.init. So this initializes the mixer. But before I even do that, I need to do a pre-initialization. So this sets some of the variables that I want for the mixer to be uh, to use when it's initialized. So here we say pygame.mixer.pre underscore init. And then these are some default values, but I just have to retype them in. Uh, don't really have to worry too much about what they are. But basically, I had to play around with this to make sure that the sounds that, that I had in the game didn't lag. So this gives me some good configuration for making sure that the sounds work properly. So by adding this line here and then initializing the mixer, this means that we can now add sounds into the game. So if I just run to make sure everything's okay, that's fine, there's no errors. So now I can begin by actually loading sound effects into it. So just like with everything else, I've got little sections for where I load things and add my variables. So I'm going to scroll down to where my image is, and just below that I will add a new section, which is going to be load sounds. So in here, I'm going to load in all of my sound effects. So the sound effects that I've got are for collecting a coin, for when a player jumps, and when a player dies. So I can load them in one by one and assign them to a variable. So I'll start off with a coin. I just say coin underscore fx. And you can name this anything. This is just what I name my variable. Uh, and then the function for loading it is pygame.mixer.sound with a capital S. And exactly the same as what I've done with the images, just the directory and then the sound. So this is coin wav uh, and then i can load in the rest of them in, in the exact same way but first of all what i want to do i noticed that these sounds were a little bit too loud for the game so i want to decrease their volume and that's easy enough to do you just call the variable coin fx uh, dot set underscore volume and then this is a percentage so i can just say half which means 50 percent of the original volume so it kind of just tones the volume down a bit of these sound effects so that's my coins loaded let's just copy this down underneath do the exact same thing for jump. So I just changed this from coin effects to jump effects. Down here, I'm going to set the volume to half as well. And I just changed the actual name of the file, which is jump. Uh, and then lastly, copy this and paste it down again. And this last one is going to be game underscore over effects. So I'll change both of these, game over. Uh, I'm going to set the volume down of that as well. I need to make sure that I'm loading in the correct sound. So game underscore over. Okay, and that's it. That's all of my sound effects loaded in. Uh, I'll run this code just to make sure it's loading properly. That's fine. Uh, but of course, I'm not actually calling them to play at any point yet. So that's what I want to add in next. So adding a sound effect is pretty straightforward. You just call the name of the variable and then you say dot .play. And it just plays that sound effect uh, from start to finish at any point that you call it. So for example, my jump sound effect is going to happen whenever I press the space bar because that's when the player jumps. So let's go down into my player class. And within this update method, I've got this section here for checking if he's jumped. So I'm increasing his Y velocity and all that kind of stuff that I was already doing before. But now I can also say, before we do any of that, let's play the sound effect, which is jump underscore FX. And we say dot play, and that's just going to play that sound. So now let's try the code, run the game. And there you go. That's already playing the sound effect. Uh, so it's really as straightforward as that. So then the other two that I need to add are A, when I come into contact with coins, and B, when the player actually dies. So if I come down to where I've got my collision detection, I'm looking for collision with enemies. So if I collide with an enemy, then the player is going to die. So we want to add in here game underscore over fx dot play. So when I, when I die from colliding with an enemy, I play that sound effect. But also when I fall into lava, he's also going to die and play that same sound effect. So we can just copy that and paste it down here. So let's run that, and I will need to get to the next level, I think, before I can get to lava. There we go. And so the last sound effect, then, is for when I come in contact with the coins. So if I keep scrolling all the way down to my main game loop, and where I've got my coin detection going on, if I can find it again. So it was down here, where I've got my in initial if game over equals zero variable, and I'm looking for collision with the coin. So remember, I'm drawing the text here to show the score. So this bit here is looking for collision between the player 
and then the coin group. So if that has happened, he's collected a coin, his score has gone up by one, well, here's where we play that sound effect. So we say coin underscore fx dot play. So let's run the code again and just check that one. And there you go, he's collecting the coins and playing that sound effect. So it's as easy as that to, sound, to add uh, these sound effects. One more thing that I want to add is an actual background song. So I want to load in some music that's just constantly going to be playing in the background. So let's come down into here where I'm loading the sounds and just add in, in this section. Uh, so this is loaded a little bit differently. It still uses the mixer module, but the code is just slightly different. So now I say pygame.mixer.music.load. So I don't actually need to assign a variable because it's just the background music that's always going to be playing. So I'm going to load in the image, uh, sorry, the, the sound, which is music.wav. So that's my actual background music, and I need to tell it to play. So we'll say pygame.mixer.mixer. Uh, dot music dot play uh, and then just a bunch of variables the the important one here that I've, I've actually played around with is this last one so this is the number of milliseconds of delay basically I didn't want the game the sound to start straight away I kind of wanted it to fade in a little bit so if I set this to zero you'll see what, what I mean so you notice the sound the music starts immediately but when I set this to 5000 You notice it slowly fades into the, to the game. And I just thought it was a little bit of a nicer touch to do it that way. Uh, so that's pretty much it. That's how you add sounds and music into the game. It's really quite straightforward. You basically just need the mixer module and then you load in your sounds and then you can call them whenever you need them. So if you found this useful, then please do leave a like. And if you'd like to stay up to date with these, then feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching.